I sneak sips of my co-worker's breast milk from the lunchroom fridge. What are you doing? Hello, friends, and welcome back to Red X, your source for the freshest daily cringe content anywhere on the internet. Promise, swearsies, it's just a fact, and it's totally science. Go ahead and look it up, please, and thank you, etc., etc., <laughs> yes, today we are jumping back into r slash sad cringe. You heard it right. I I've been feeling a little sad and I need some cringe to fix that. Sad cringe plus sad cringe equals not sad cringe. Uh, maybe some math magicians in the audience can let me know how that's supposed to go or something like that. <laughs> it's all up in the air, much like my life at this very moment, but... We gotta do the thing, you know, stream on Twitch, stream the episode we're recording, get the episode over to the editor, etc, etc. Also, uh, plugs and disclaimers, yeah. You know what we're doing? <laughs> it's like the same stuff, I just have to talk for at least a minute beforehand, so once we get into the post, I can say bad words. Alright? Great. We hit that minute, so... <laughs> Let's go ahead and get the plugs and disclaimers out of the way, and then we will dive right into some of this r slash a uh, sad cringe, uh, cringe. Our first post, I think this is from Twitter or something. I didn't know you could get tips on Twitter. Why ain't nobody tipping me on Twitter, huh? <laughs> I guess I gotta show my, my b-hole or something like that. <laughs> I sent you a $200 tip. Thank you for listening to me. Better than talking to my therapist. Bro, you need to take that money and give it to your therapist, honestly. <laughs> People on Twitter are not there to solve all of your problems, nor are they really equipped to do so. If people come into the chat, start trauma dumping on me, I'm like, you know, I can't figure out what you want me to do with this information okay sorry i'm sorry that happened but i'm not equipped to really help you i'm just the guy that tells fart jokes on the internet okay <laughs> you want to give me a 200 dollars tip i'll take it but i'm not going to pretend that i'm gonna uh do whatever better than your therapist y you need to sign up for more therapy sessions i'm gonna give you this 200 dollars back please for, for your sake and mine go talk to your therapist a little bit more i appreciate that <laughs> Jose, uh, added by search, I see. And OP's like, from Timey, hey, hi there. Jose asked, uh, face? And OP sends a pic, which was opened, and Jose just says, no. <laughs> uh, God, that is, that is a deep cut, honestly. Jose out here with the highest of standards. I don't know what OP looks like, but... To just drop a no after seeing their face, no further explanation or anything, just no. <laughs> oh God, uh, it hurts me so deep. Why you gotta be like that, Jose? Why don't you send me your face? Why don't you put yourself on blast? <laughs> really, he's just out here like trying to make people feel bad and um, he succeeded. If somebody just told me no, I would feel so hurt. I'm sure you're, you're lovely, OP. <laughs> Don't let Jose get to you, all right? Jesus Christ. Uh, how can I get my boyfriend to stop everywhere? <laughs> just learn that Final Fantasy spell. You know, it's like time stop or something like that. And then he ain't gonna go nowhere. No sneaking out at night or nothing. Problem solved. Next. Oh, not just stop. She wanted to say stop masturbating everywhere. Uh, if you watch the Chris Trucker series, air horns and snacky cakes seem to work at least for a little while. <laughs> My boyfriend of almost 18 months and I have a pretty good relationship, all things considered. I have a well-paying job and he currently is self-employed and doesn't make much, but we're hoping that he will be making a lot soon. Oof, already off the bat. Darling, I hate to tell you. <laughs> what is his business that he is self-employed doing? I appreciate you keeping him afloat while he does it, but this is gonna easily turn into like a, a leecher and leech e relationship, isn't it? Already, I, I, I don't like the vibe that's going on here. <laughs> he moved in with me while starting his own business to cut down on costs. 
<laughs> yeah, that's that's a great reason to move in with somebody. Whether the relationship is ready for that step or not, just move in with her to cut down on costs. <laughs> Uh, hey, why did you move in with your girlfriend, OP? Yeah, I just wanted to keep my overhead down. <laughs> what the fuck? Uh, before this, I had maybe been to his place a handful of times, and it was always disgusting there. But he would blame it on his roommate, and I would have no reason not to believe him. His roommate is hanging out, like, in his room. <laughs> How about we take a little bit of personal responsibility or something like that? I am just shocked at the the mental hoops this woman is jumping through in order to believe her boyfriend. To save what is so very clearly a, a nothing relationship. It's a waste of everybody's time, so just stop! Don't waste any more time on it! That's the sunk cost fallacy. She's sitting around like, hmm, I could fix them. <laughs> no. <laughs> Uh, he needs to want to fix himself, and he so clearly doesn't because you're putting up with his shit. Uh, so, however, since he moved in with me, he'll walk around naked 95% of the time. Eh, I give him pass to that part, I guess. No kids in the house, you know, uh, you guys just got together or whatnot. Hey, being naked just saves some time. Hop in the bed, baby doll! <laughs> this doesn't really bother me, but at random points throughout the day, usually about three or four times, he'll just stop whatever he's doing and jerk off on the spot. <laughs> I jerk off at least twice a day. Uh, what? <laughs> Are you serious? This is Chris Trucker level, dude. He has some sort of addiction, some sort of disorder, and again, you're not really qualified to take care of something like this. He's cooking up his special macaroni, he's like, oh, hold on, let me add the secret sauce. <laughs> macaroni in a pot. <laughs> uh, for example, Earlier today, he jerked off on the couch and just came all over it <laughs> and just left it there. <laughs> uh, are you for real, dude? You, you, you don't have like a coom sock or anything? He's just like, yeah, I'm claiming my territory. <laughs> uh, this is so wild. Get some Kleenex. What's wrong with you? When I asked him to clean it up, he was like, In a minute! In a tone like I was his fucking mom. Well, apparently you do need to be his mom. Apparently his mom didn't teach him not to jerk off on the couch and just leave it there. Oh, God, why is the couch so crunchy? I went to jump on the couch and broke my ass. <laughs> the cushion just snapped in half. <laughs> I'm literally cutting myself on this fabric. <laughs> he does this all the time. Comes and just leaves it. I found a pile of old cum in the spare bedroom last week. <laughs> this is my kingdom come. This is my kingdom come. Uh, a pile of old cum. I like how she says it's just like... <laughs> a pair of sweatpants. Yeah, he keeps his sweatpants in there. Just a whole pile of them. <laughs> How do we quantify that? How much is a pile of cum? <laughs> I got a lot of questions. Uh, I don't know why he's doing this. I've asked him to stop, but he doesn't seem to be stopping. What can I do? Get him the fuck out, bro. Like, he's obviously a pig, he's obviously mooching off of you in order to start his own business, which I guarantee is never gonna get off the ground, because he spends like 90% of the day just jerking off <laughs> at random intervals. <laughs> uh, this is not a, a good situation to be in, and I don't know why this woman is like, how can I save this, like, clearly horrible relationship? Let me ask you first, why do you want to save it? 
I guess that's where the sad cringe part comes in. She doesn't realize that she can do so much better. She's just like, yeah, it's fine. I can fix it somehow. It's really not okay. You need to get out of this relationship sooner rather than later because it's only gonna end with heartache, okay? He's using you, he's making your house more disgusting. The whole thing is untenable. And and the clincher, if nothing else I've said, helps you to get out of the relationship. Consider this, OP. These are the best days of this relationship. The early days, it doesn't get any better than that. And <laughs> if it's come to this, pun intended, I guess, <laughs> then it's time to go. I don't understand why you would sit there and tolerate this and be like, oh, I'm sure it'll get better. It never gets better. Leave as soon as possible. That's the only thing that you can do. I'm pretty sure. Again, I'm just the guy that yells about poop and cum on Reddit. <laughs> Make some YouTube videos, but I do have a relatively happy marriage overall and you deserve that as well, and this is not going to turn out to be that, no matter how much time you put into it. So, bail, ASAP. That's my final verdict. Moving on. My wife, 24 female, asked me if we should get a sperm donor because I, 23 male, am short. <laughs> Oof. <laughs> Oof! Oh, God, man, that hurts me. <laughs> That's horrible. My wife and I have been together for four years. Married for eight months. <laughs> that was a mistake. <laughs> Late last night, we were lying in bed, post-sex, her head on my shoulder. We were talking about kids, names and such. A few minutes go by of no talking. And then she says, with all the problems that you've had with your height, Maybe we should think about getting a sperm donor. <laughs> man down! We got a man down! Man down! Uh, holy shit, man. Short King needs to rise up. Be like, get out of my house, bitch. What are you talking about? If you ain't carrying my seeds, then you belong to the streets. I don't know why I'm paying for shit. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> Eight months? That's that's not too late. We can still get an annulment. I take it all back. Everything. Needless to say, I was completely shocked. After a few seconds of silence, she says, Sweetie? <laughs> uh, no, get the fuck out. I, I'm completely serious about this. Leave my house now! <laughs> <laughs> How are you not like instantly enraged by this? I've never had this problem. I'm six foot plus. But if a woman ever said this to me, it's over. <laughs> like I said, these are supposed to be the best days of the relationship. A and that is such a lack of respect. You've disrespected me in the bed. Post coitus. I, I can't. <laughs> I close my eyes instantly and pretend to be asleep. All oh, beta avoidant behavior. Step up, king! Fucking <laughs> go to bat for what's yours. What the fuck, man? You completely copped out right there. And honestly, the quicker you address something like this, the less awkward it's gonna be. So right then and there, you should have been like, fuck no. <laughs> Are you kidding me? Get out. So dude fucking <sighs> slimes his way over to Reddit. <laughs> with his no balls and makes a post and says how could she ask me that i can't even begin to explain how much it hurts to know that she doesn't think i'm good enough to father her children i lay awake all night unable to sleep in the past i've told her about my insecurities the way some girls have treated me because of my height as you do when you and the post is cut off right there now, I'm not saying that, you know, a, a wife needs to submit to her husband and all this. You know, I wasn't born in the 70s. I, I believe that women can make their own choices. But, like, bitch, you chose to marry this dude. And then all of a sudden you're asking about a sperm donor. <laughs> Did you think that he would be, like, 100% down for that? It's like, yeah, you're right. I am short. W we should put some other dudes come inside of you. Are, are you kidding me? 
And then the fact that uh, that really sends me over the top is the fact that he pretended to be sleeping. He didn't even feel like he could confront his wife about it. Again, complete lack of respect. Like, uh, this makes me blow up. This is more than sad cringe. This is angry cringe. What's wrong with you that you don't think you deserve a, a better relationship than this? Holy fuck, man. Ugh. I'm sick. I'm sick and I hate it and this whole marriage is doomed. Okay, like I said, eight months. It's not too late for the annulment, short king. Get it while you can because this ain't gonna get better. She got no love for you, no respect, and, and I don't know how you could spend another night in that fucking house. You post on Reddit and you're like, give me some advice. My advice is go. <laughs> get gone. It ain't gonna get any better than this and it's already fucking horrible. Ugh, it hurts me so deep inside. Short kings, okay? You should not feel this way. If anybody tries to make you feel this way, put them out on their ass ASAP. You don't need to sit around and, and just accept it, be like, well, it is what it is. <laughs> Four years, whatever, throw it away. Throw the whole woman away. She's getting way too comfortable. She's like, we've been married eight months. I could bring up the fact that you're too short now, right? Bitch, why didn't she tell me this four years ago? <laughs> God, I hate her. Ugh. That's really all I got to say about this situation, okay? Make like a flock of seagulls and run, run so far away. <laughs> Couldn't get away because his legs was too short, right? Ah! Oh, fuck, I just, uh, I just undermined my whole point. Let's move on to the next post. <laughs> uh, just started driving for DoorDash this week, and I ended up getting one of my ex's orders earlier today. I am so tired, man. God, that is so unfortunate. The, <laughs> the universe has a line to say fuck you specifically to this man, and I feel so bad about it. Hi, this is DoorDash connecting you to your customer for updates about their order. No way this is actually you. Stay the fuck away from my house. <laughs> uh, the relationship didn't end well. Uh, th that's what I can glean from this. Okay, I need to drop off your food or I could lose my job. I'll just leave it at your door and go. I don't want any trouble. And then clown face emojis. A DoorDash customer reported that your delivery from Chipotle on Sunday, May 29th was not delivered. DoorDash requires that you complete every delivery that you pick up. Failure to do so can result in deactivation according to our deactivation policy. If you believe that you received this notice by mistake, please fill out the following form. God, what a bitch. What an insufferable woman. Like, you can't just be an adult, move on from a relationship, not try to fuck with the bread of the dude that you used to be in a relationship with. <laughs> I don't understand it at all. This is just so petty and so horrible, and I hope that she gets put on blast. I hope she feels really bad about it. It doesn't really matter how the relationship ended. Like, okay, you got DoorDash and it happens to be your ex. Be an adult about it. He's like, hey, please don't mess with me because I could seriously lose this job. And she's like, I'm going to mess with you anyways. I hate it. <laughs> I hate it. And, and I hope that karma comes and bites her in the ass really hard. This is so not okay. Why are you so spiteful? <laughs> Maybe he cheated on you, something like that, but really, no matter what he did, yeah, move on from the relationship. Be an adult about it. That's like the bare minimum, really. Whatever. I guess that's okay. She'll get what's coming to her eventually. <sighs> I sought out and married the most intelligent, talented women in my social circle like a calculated sociopath. It was the best decision of my life. This is already reading really creep. Why are you self-identifying as a sociopath? Please stop. Whatever you're doing, just, just pump the brakes. I hope that woman sees this post and is scared away. She goes running into the night without even reading the post, just the title alone. I'm like, nope, can't do it. I've been thinking of this post for a few weeks. It's a weird brag that I don't feel comfortable sharing with my family or friends. 
So why are you gonna share it with Reddit? <laughs> he just had to tell somebody. He's like, I'm a calculated sociopath. <laughs> you think Reddit's gonna be impressed with that? Nobody's impressed. You're a fucking weirdo. Leave people alone. In 2017, Autumn, I, 22, was dating a girl, Alice, who was very kind and attractive, high libido, etc. I, I loved her. Is this Alice from the, the, the tragedy of Alice? I'm pretty sure it is. Because this dude, self-admitted sociopath, we, we sussing this one out already. My friends and family loved her. My college friend group, about 15 people, thought that we were going to get married. Well, you gotta point out, like, how big your friend group is. Yeah, it was like 15 people or something. Wow, great for you. <laughs> You're super cool and popular, aren't you? <laughs> and then people with, like, a, a large friend group are like, What a nerd! <laughs> There's no way that you're gonna win, okay? Uh, there was a serial monogamist, Beth, in my friend group, who was by far the most intelligent, despite being a little lazy and unreliable. <laughs> as soon as she ends a relationship, someone instantly scoops her up. Like a sick whippet or something like that. He's just talking about her like she's like roadside trash. Yeah, come pick up this dresser that I left <laughs> on the side of the road. I greatly enjoyed talking with her, but never felt any attraction, lust, etc. towards her. She was a little arrogant. Yeah, it takes one to know one, I suppose. <laughs> and when drunk, had bragged about her 99th percentile SAT scores, despite being hungover when she took the test. Yeah, Beth sounds pretty insufferable, too. You think anybody actually gives a shit about your SAT score? Point out to me what you've done with your life, all right? I don't care about your grades. I don't care about your college degree. I care about results. None of this means anything to me. <laughs> She got accepted into med school, then decided not to go because she wanted a non-linear career. She had a streak of individuality that I found unattractive, which in hindsight is very sexist. <laughs> uh, yeah, count on OP to break her will, I'm pretty sure. This is not going to end well. I'm already hating where this is headed. Are, are you gonna break Beth? Come on, dude. Don't do that. Found her unattractive and decided to break her anyways. Ugh. You're terrible. You are terrible. Beth broke up with her boyfriend, and my friend group joked that she'd be in another relationship very soon. <laughs> For some reason, once Beth was single, I thought about my future with Alice and what I actually wanted. I struggled to imagine working on our careers together, or having kids together, or making tough decision, or, or challenging each other's beliefs with Alice. Beth was always able to critique me accurately, and point out my flaws, and listen to me carefully when I had done the same to her. She had tutored me in math, and had a pros and cons career discussion with me, like a guidance counselor would. Yeah, I always wanted to bang my guidance counselor, bro. <laughs> uh, solid foundation for a relationship here. Nothing weird, awkward, etc. going on. <laughs> it's like, I really loved Alice, but yeah, I dropped her like a hot potato. I don't think you're capable of feeling love, OP. You don't know what that word means. You just use it because you heard other fucking humans use it. <laughs> but if you really loved somebody, then you wouldn't be able to even think about life without them. Look into Beth like, oh, she's better. <laughs> like, no. Obviously, you, you might like Alice or, or think that you do, but love? That is such a stretch. Forget about it. You are just an insufferable person deciding that you want to date another insufferable person. And, uh, you, you both deserve each other. I hope you are both completely miserable together. <laughs> Alice 
was still supportive of me, but immature and fun in a way that's normal in your early 20s. I realized that for what I wanted out of life, my future, Beth was 100% the best person for me, and the only person that I've been close to who fit that criteria. <laughs> yeah, she's exactly where she's supposed to be at that stage in her life, but apparently I'm attempting to move to another stage with this person who is also seemingly at the other stage. But didn't you just say that she's like, lazy and unreliable so how do you know that she's not going to completely fail at at what she's trying to do you just presume that she's going to be able to be a doctor <laughs> he really wants to be a house husband so bad that's what that is he's just like yeah i'm gonna have to support alice whereas beth could possibly support me so that's the way i'm going even though i'm completely unattracted to her are, are you serious? <laughs> you deserve the misery that is going to come your way. It's only a matter of time before Beth is completely used up and this guy's like, ah, uh, this girl that works at the liquor store, that's the new girl for me. I, I, I totally loved Beth, but I can't stand to fucking look at her anymore. <laughs> Again, I don't think you know what that word means. So, I broke up with Alice. I asked out Beth the same day. She refused and told me to get back together with Alice. <laughs> uh, Y'all are just a whole ass mess right now. <laughs> what the fuck are you doing? Uh, I told her no and continued talking Beth over the next few weeks. My friend group became fractured, and some of them ditched me to continue staying friends with Alice. Beth said she didn't think I was serious, and that she and I were a bad match. She was somewhat right. We had little natural chemistry. <laughs> like, he admits all this shit to himself. He's like, I don't really like her, but she seems like she might be successful, so I'm just going to attach myself like a leech. <laughs> uh, Beth don't even watch you bro She 100% sees what you're trying to do If he ends up getting Beth in the end uh, It's going to end with fireworks That's all I'll say It's not like they're going to have a healthy relationship That carries on far into the future I, I ain't too worried about that but after one to two months of talking with Beth and flirting with her a lot, I asked her out again, and she agreed to a date. I knew I had a shot, since she somehow didn't have another boyfriend. <laughs> yeah, here's your fucking pity date. You've ground me down over the course of two months by not fucking leaving me alone. <laughs> uh, this is the saddest thing I've ever witnessed. Don't do it, Beth! This is, this is such a bad situation to be in, honestly. It was a mediocre date, and I was mostly explaining all the ways that we were compatible, like an idiot. We hooked up for the first time. Oh, it was a mediocre hookup. <laughs> and she has to have a friends with benefits relationship. Oh my god, bro. I fucking hate this. <laughs> uh, poor Beth. Beth has got, like, daddy issues or something like that. There's, there's something going on, not completely kosher, with Beth for her to hook up on the first date with this dude that she admittedly doesn't really even like. It seems like she got harassed into the date, and all of a sudden it's like, yeah, let's be friends with benefits. What? <laughs> uh, okay. Like I said way at the beginning, y'all are both fucked up. <laughs> you deserve each other 100%. All, all there is left to do now is sit back and, and watch the train crash. <laughs> There's no salvaging this one, dude. She said she liked the physical aspect, but didn't think that there was an emotional connection. I wasn't very attracted to her like Alice, but I knew that our life together would be great. How? How? <laughs> <laughs> what would be great about your life together? Marrying this woman that you like admittedly do not even like. I'm I'm so lost, dude. <laughs> this is the wildest ride. A and I'm amazed. 
This dude has jumped through so many hoops uh, trying to make him think that this is a good idea. It's clear to everyone around him, including himself, including Beth, <laughs> that the relationship is doomed, but they keep walking towards the edge of the cliff. <laughs> okay, continue on, I suppose. <laughs> I don't have the power to stop you, so just uh, let's see what happens. I persisted. A few weeks later, we had gone on more dates and more hookups, and I finally got her to agree to being exclusive. <laughs> she started falling for me, became deeply in love with me, and at that point, I was deeply in love with her, too. Yeah, there's that word again that you don't fucking <laughs> know what it means. He just says it. I heard people say it. It sounded like a good idea, so sure. Why don't I just say it too? There's something deeply wrong with you, dude. <laughs> we married in, uh, in 2018. We had our first kid in 2019. And another is due in October. Oh, great. You're reproducing with this woman that you have little physical attraction to. Based on what? The fact that she had a good score on her SATs? <laughs> Uh, what the hell is going on here? Oh, being married to her is awesome. <laughs> uh, okay, well, how about the other way? Does she feel that being married to you is awesome? I'm going to go out on a limb and say probably not. <laughs> uh, being married to him is a nightmare. <laughs> <laughs> One, I work as a software developer, and she could do my job for me. <laughs> God damn it, dude. He's just the biggest, laziest piece of shit that I've ever witnessed. But he's not content with just himself being a piece of shit. He wants to drag other people down with him. Oh, oh, this is the saddest of cringe, isn't it? She helps me solve programming problems when I need help. You need a lot of help, bro. <laughs> uh, she probably helps me once a week with work issues and is helping me practice to get into F-A-A-N-G so I could double my salary. We have one kid already, whereas all our peers are still living the NYC life. I was somewhat bored of that life already, and we drew up a list of pros and cons and agreed that it made sense to have kids early and move to the NYC suburb. <laughs> I don't understand the point of this post. You're just trying to convince yourself that your marriage is functional. <laughs> That's really what this boils down to. I guarantee deep down he's miserable and he has just written out this entire thing in, in the, the faint hope that by tricking others, he can somehow trick himself into believing that his marriage is, is functional. <laughs> She's a great mom. She's excited to teach our kids music. She has absolute pitch. Plays piano a lot. What the fuck are we talking about, bro? Who cares? <laughs> uh, okay, good, great. I'm glad. <laughs> this is so weird. She and my mom used to fight a lot, and now they're on good terms, and my mother seriously respects her. Wow, amazing. You get along with your mother-in-law. <laughs> Our sex life was awkward, but we have trained each other. Oh, God. The use of that word in that context, trained each other? Oh, fuck. Make it stop! <laughs> We've gotten more in sync, so that it can be pretty great. Sometimes. <laughs> uh, yeah, our sex life is pretty great. Sim teams. <laughs> uh, you don't even believe your own bullshit, bro. <laughs> That's classic. Uh, oh, I'm loving it. <laughs> that gives it all away right there. Her parents adore me since I'm very reliable and career oriented. Her parents helped us buy a house and let us live with them while we searched for a house. 
Which means when the divorce happens, and it's going to happen, <laughs> OP is going to be living out of his car or some shit like that. And it will be nothing but what he deserved. He's like, look, I made a post on Reddit, honey. It says that our sex life is good sometimes. <laughs> uh, oh, great. I'm fucking flattered. <laughs> Get out. <laughs> Uh, oh, that's hilarious. Good God. Seven, we both agreed that we'll never divorce and always go to couples counseling before any issues. You are on the way to divorce already. If, you, if you're if you having that discussion, does that not point out the fact that, like, yeah, <laughs> you're having some troubles in this relationship, no? This guy is like way deep in the shit and he doesn't even want to admit that to himself. He's like, please believe me, Reddit, our marriage is awesome! <laughs> uh, no, it's not. And nobody's buying this, dude. Eight. I can still talk to her for hours. She's the type of person that has already read all the books, philosophy, I have been meaning to read. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I don't have to read any of these books because she already read them. Do you mean talk to her for hours like you guys are having a conversation? Or are you just talking at her? Are you picking her brain and she finds you completely fucking drawl and boring because you guys are on two different mental planes? <laughs> because I'm pretty sure it's one of the latter. She's like a little wannabe professor <laughs> with her own ideas and beliefs and dreams that she didn't inherit from her environment or anyone else, if that makes any sense. <laughs> yeah, aren't you so adorable with your little dreams? <laughs> like he's totally shocked by the fact that she's a fucking functioning human being in her own right. Are you kidding me, dude? <laughs> Uh, she reads for me, she does my job for me, she takes care of the kids. What are you contributing to this relationship, honestly? That's the good part for you? <laughs> You've completely set this up so that you don't have to do a goddamn thing within your own life? That's pathetic. If you're really having a good time doing it, then, then great for you. But I think you're going to look back in 50 years and be like, Jesus... I was not involved in anything. I'm a useless piece of shit that hasn't accomplished a goddamn thing without my wife's hand guiding mine. And she's not going to put up with that forever either. No wife wants to be with a loser. <laughs> she's like, yeah, I'm essentially your fucking mother. I'm doing everything for you at this point. When are you going to grow up? And he's like, come on, Beth. Our relationship isn't that bad. We can go to counseling. You promised we'd never divorce. I told Reddit that our sex life was okay sometimes. <laughs> uh, oh, God. This is ridiculous. <laughs> so endlessly ridiculous. Uh... And this all happened because I robotically calculated <laughs> that she was the best marriage partner for me and then relentlessly pursued her. <laughs> like, he, he really wants to make himself to be some sort of evil mastermind when really all he is is a fucking nice guy that harassed this woman into a relationship and held on to her with an iron grip. <laughs> <laughs> He's probably totally the bottom in this relationship. He's doing whatever it takes so that Beth will never leave him. So he can continue his existence doing fucking nothing at all. And he feels like that's a flex. He wants to go and tell Reddit all about it. Jesus Christ, bro. Get some help. This is the best news ever for Alice as far as I'm concerned. I feel bad for Beth. But she ain't gonna fall for it for too long either. We didn't have any chemistry. And even today, she jokes that there was no love at first sight. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that sounds like a great joke to have with somebody that you're married to. <laughs> uh, Beth is over it already, bro. He thinks that if he keeps pumping kids into her, that she's gonna be tied down with him. But no. 
She's going to walk away. She's going to realize how little he actually contributes and fucking leave. <laughs> uh, uh, we were non-romantic acquaintances for three years. I sort of arranged marriage myself, and it was the best thing I ever did for my personal life. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what a fucking disaster. Oh, it makes me want to die. Listening to all of this like he really thinks it's a flex. Uh, it's pathetic. You need to get some help, dude. Self-identified sociopath that essentially does nothing but mooch off his partner. <laughs> and then he goes to Reddit and, and tells everybody all about it. Our marriage is struggling, but we're not going to get a divorce. We'll, we'll go to counseling. Our sex life is pretty good sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds like you are already on the rocks, and you're not fucking convincing anybody but yourself. This post will probably buy you another month and a half or something like that, but this marriage is not built to last. I'm gonna tell you that. Marriage is a two-way street. A lot of give and take, and it seems like this dude n does nothing but take. And eventually, Beth is going to put two and two together and be like, I, I got to get the fuck out of here. What have I done <laughs> spending that much time with this dude? This OP absolutely 100% a pathetic worm. <laughs> Twitch chat was out here just completely going in on him because, yeah, it is super obvious to anybody with an outside perspective that uh, it's not the way that he has framed it for himself. He's trying to protect his little ego. <laughs> it's so stupid, bro. I can't wait until uh, Beth leaves you destitute and you can't even figure out how to wipe your own ass. <laughs> his whole life is going to get flipped upside down because of this personal life that he has so lovingly constructed for himself. And really, yeah, that's what it comes down to. You only love yourself, OP. You don't love other human beings. You probably don't even love your kids, as far as I can tell. You're just a human piece of shit, a parasite. You do nothing but mooch off of other people until they're completely used up. And someday, you will reap exactly what you sow. And I just hope that I get to read another Reddit post about that trash fire. <laughs> the end r slash confessions oh god please i can't take any more no more confessions today <laughs> i sneak sips of my co-workers breast milk from the lunchroom fridge <sighs> what are you doing oh uh, oh uh, my hope for humanity is fading so fast. Please stop. She just had a baby a couple of months ago and will pump on her brakes at work in the bathroom and put her milk in the refrigerator at work in the lunchroom. Uh, I take my lunch later than everyone else just to be alone in there and take a sip or two of her sweet breast milk. Uh, uh, <laughs> fuck! Uh, I hate this! Yes, King Shame! A hundred percent! Lactation fetish? That ain't that bad, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> but when you're involving uh, a non-consenting individual, yes, you are a complete piece of shit! I hope you get criminally prosecuted for this! What is that, theft? It, it might be like assault on a baby or some shit like that. You can disease the baby. She doesn't even realize that some fucking creep is in the break room like, oh! <laughs> uh, Jesus, dude. Oh, thankfully, there are no cameras, and I've never been caught. Uh, the breast milk bandit. Yeah, he fucking out here, I guess. 
I've had a breast slash lactation kink as long as I can remember. And I know this is wrong and probably illegal, but it turns me on so much. I fucking hate this. I hate everything about this. Uh, Put him against the wall. There's no fixing this. Oh! Uh, I also know that if I get caught, I'll lose everything. Uh, Maybe you deserve to lose everything. Maybe you're a piece of human shit. Oh, God. Why aren't there cameras in the break room? Can we put cameras in the break room? I know you can't have them in the bathrooms. Okay, that makes sense. But why are there no cameras in the break room? We can find out who's stealing lunches, including that poor fucking baby's lunch. Oh my god, I want to fucking hurt him so bad. I just want to grab him by the neck and punch his face until it's just mush. Red mush with flecks of bone in it. Ah, now we're getting into like r slash I am very badass. <laughs> But I just hate him so much. I can't f- fucking express to you how much this enrages me. Especially because I have a child of my own. And to know that my child, my my wife, her breast milk is being violated like that for some fucking creep. God, I want to hurt him so bad. Ah! I never intended to do this, but I had to take lunch late one day. I opened the fridge, and there it was. Just seeing it in the bottles made me so horny. (sighs) This is why aliens will never visit us. You know that? Do you know that? This is why they saw this one fucking guy and they're like, nope, not that planet. Let's keep going. (laughs) I fucking hate. I hate it with everything that I am. You, You do realize that this is why all of the gods stop talking to us. I fucking hate. I can't say it any more than I've already said it, but you guys don't realize how deep this goes for me. I fucking hate! Uh, I already thought she was super hot, uh, but pregnancy made her so much sexier. Uh, Her breasts and hips and ass all got thicker. I had to taste her milk. Uh, God, I hope somebody tells her boyfriend, her husband, whatever. I hope that Giga Chad comes in here and just beats the fucking life out of you. And if I was on that jury, I'd be like, yeah, not guilty. (laughs) That dude deserves to walk. I I get it, 100%. I couldn't stop myself. I quickly looked around and no one was in the lunchroom or coming down the long hall. I opened the bottle and took just a taste and it was so good. I got so aroused. I immediately ran to the bathroom and jerked off with the taste of her sweet milk on my tongue. Oh. <laughs> God, I hate it. Oh, is it gonna be over? <laughs> it hurts me so deep, dude. Can, can, can we just, somebody strike him down, okay? Ah. Uh. I can't deal with this person being on the planet any longer. Ugh. I've done this multiple times per week for over a month now. I know this is wrong, but I can't stop myself. Okay, then guess what? We physically have to stop you by putting you up against the wall. By by taking you down to the old lynching tree. (laughs) 
I hate this, bro. Somebody kill him. He's admitted that he can't stop, so let's let's stop him. Can we? He deserves worse than jail. He deserves worse than an asylum. Go ahead, release him. Help him shuffle off this mortal coil. Please. I wish she were my wife, so I could breastfeed from her every day. Her husband is so lucky. <laughs> God, <laughs> you fucking cock. <laughs> uh, I hate it. I hope the husband finds out. I hope he comes down to the job and just beats the fuck out of you to the point where, like, you lose the loss of your legs and your arms, okay? Uh, you don't deserve to live on this planet anymore. Maybe if you can't do anything but breathe through a tube and roll around in a wheelchair, then you'll stop drinking breast milk that ain't yours. Ugh! Humanity was a fucking mistake. This this hurts me so bad to even read it. I, I hate it. Put the boots to him! Hard style! Extra double plus hard style! Until he's nothing but a pile of mush! Uh, edit. Uh, if you guys told me that I'm contaminating her breast milk, it could make her baby sick. I had no idea babies are so susceptible to infections like this, and I feel awful. Next time I'm gonna pour some in a disposable cup and drink it. Thank you for letting me know. Oh, fuck. Please tell me this is bait, okay? I, I can't handle this. <laughs> Just gonna steal it in a disposable cup. <laughs> Fuck, dude. Uh, and then there's some people that are in the comments of this post, like, at least he cares for the baby's health. I, I don't give a fuck about that, okay? All of this is so wrong, and dude needs to be brought to justice. 100%. Like I said, lactation fetish, that's fine. You like what you like, but you like it with someone who is also a consenting individual, okay? I don't know how hard it is to find a prostitute that's lactating, but I'm sure that they're out there. Just, that's how you have to get your rocks off from now on, or, or keep it on the internet. Or, as a matter of fact, take away this guy's internet access, because I'm pretty sure that's how all of this shit started. Instead of stopping what he's doing, realizing how terrible of a person he's being, he, he's just plotting something different. Oh, well, I'll bring a cup. A little bit of takeaway breast milk. Ugh, I hope somebody takes away your life. I'm not even joking. If I was the husband, I would come down to work, hopefully catch him in the act in the break room, and, and make him bite the table. <laughs> Kick the back of his head so it just... The table goes through his brainstem or something like that. There is no punishment bad enough for this. Maybe people think that I'm overreacting, but then I would ask you to understand why I might be having a reaction like that. <laughs> Fuck this guy. Everything he represents is horrible, and I seriously hope that he, he gets caught out in a big way. Not only loses his job, but loses his life. I, I, no regrets with saying that. I hope he fucking dies. And I, I rarely say that. <laughs> but this guy, yeah, 100%. What a scumbag. Uh, but let's just say it was a bait post this whole time. <laughs> what a what a funny joke. You really got me riled up there, fella. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, I hate it. I hate it so much. All right, one more post, and then I got to get the hell out of here. <laughs> My hope for humanity is already just negative at this point. Uh, the only fan girl I'm subscribed to slash in love with keeps posting about some guy that she's fucking. Uh... <laughs> he bitch made. You keep giving her money. He's like, I'm seething so bad over here. If I just give her enough money, maybe she can love me. <laughs> uh, from r slash virgin. Bro, if you didn't already think that mankind was a mistake from the last post, <laughs> I present to you exhibit, what is this, F? <laughs> it's gotta be more than that. We are already into ZZ, AA. <laughs> uh, 
Ah, <laughs> uh, it's causing me suicidal thoughts. She's so fucking cute. It pains me in my chest to even look at her. She is literal perfection. I literally cannot believe that some guy is lucky enough to put his penis into her vagina. You are literally putting her on a pedestal. You literally need to get some help. <laughs> I literally cannot believe this somebody is this bitch made. Are you for real right now? If, if it's hurting you that much, then walk away. <laughs> I don't understand, dude. But I guess love just makes you do crazy things, right? Or some approximation of love. Lust, which is <laughs> motivated by greed. <laughs> I don't know what's going on here. I just hate this dude. That's what I know. My hatred facet cannot be turned off at this point. Why? I want to know what this guy has done to deserve being so fortunate. I want to know why does such a fortune never befall me? <laughs> Are you kidding me right now? He asked her out, probably. He got to know her in real life, and, and she decided that she liked him. Enough to let him put his penis inside of her. It's really not that much of a mystery. And then, <laughs> the cuck that you are just continues to pay in order to watch that, even though it's ripping your heart out. I don't understand, bro. Humanity, <laughs> I said it before, but humanity was a fucking mistake. I can't anymore, dude. I swear to God, life as an adult virgin is life in a permanent torture chamber. It's literally that scene for Borat. <laughs> uh, yes, I compare all of my life experiences to scenes from Borat. This is obviously a well-adjusted individual. <laughs> uh, where the disabled man they keep in a cage is tormented by a woman who shows him her pussy shouting, You will never get this, you will never get this, la 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 la. That is literally my entire fucking life. <laughs> <laughs> you did this to yourself, bro, because instead of spending money on, like, actual attainable women in your area who are around you and want to interact with you, you're throwing all your first date money away on some OnlyFans girl who, who doesn't even see you as a human being. She sees you as a paycheck. <laughs> if all you want to do is look at her butthole, then go ahead, pony up the money, that's fine. But if you're... Throwing money at her, hoping that it's going to lead to something more. I hate to burst your bubble. It's never going to be anything more. About a year ago, this OnlyFans girl posted a video of her banging some dude. And I'm still traumatized by it. <laughs> uh, traumatized. I pay to see this, but I am traumatized by it. What's wrong with you, bro? Jesus, I can see her pussy juice glistening on his dick. I instantly closed it and tried to forget, but I still remember it a year later. That image is seared into my brain. When will this hell end? I just want a woman to be attracted to me. Oh. There is so much to unpack here. I'm not really even sure where to start. <laughs> he, he saw this a year ago, but apparently he never stopped subscribing. It's traumatized him for a year and he just continues to look at it even though it's fucking him up so bad. Like, at, at some point I have to believe that you liked it at least a little bit, right? I don't understand how one man gets this thirsty, okay? You are self-sabotaging at this point. The reason that you're a virgin is because you've chosen it at every turn. Instead of focusing on somebody who, you know, will come back the other way with this relationship, you've decided to, to hyper-focus on this one chick that 
honestly doesn't even know that you exist, okay? Outside of like, oh, name gave me some money. Wow, thank you, name. And, and that's it. How many thousands of dollars do you have to give away before you realize that she's never going to blow you? She's never going to be interested because she's already got like the one thing that she could possibly want from you and that's the bag, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so take the bag away, maybe go spend it on somebody else who, who could actually reciprocate your affections, and then you will stop posting an r slash virgin. You can stop being traumatized about some other dude's dick. <laughs> he's, he's so close to incel status that it hurts. And this is honestly like a fork in the road in the path of your life, okay? You can go one way and, and find a chick who will value you for you, or you can continue on with this OnlyFans girl and just get more and more salty about it. Life is not a torture chamber. Life is pretty fucking cool, but you're making it very not cool for yourself, and, and I don't understand the logic behind that. If indeed there is any logic behind it. It's sad to watch, bro. Honestly, save some of that money. Maybe not necessarily for another person because you seem like you got a lot of work to do on yourself. Maybe maybe go hand it to a therapist or something like that. She'll help you to see your own worth. At least that's what I hope for. I, as I said way at the beginning, I'm not fully equipped to help you solve all the problems in your life, but I can at least offer you this little bit of advice and hope that you take it. Oh. That was some heavy, sad cringe, especially at the end there. If you made it to the end of this video, you guys are ride or die. Thank you so much, um, <laughs> especially to the Twitch chat. They out here. Hell yeah. I hope that you guys will like, comment, and or subscribe if you did enjoy this video. If you did, uh, maybe share it around. That would be cool, too. Uh, you got to be pretty brave to share this one around, though, admittedly. <laughs> We've also got all kinds of links down in the description. Plugs, playlists, podcasts, you know what it is. We got social medias, Twitter, Discord, Facebook, Twitch, as I've mentioned many times before. We've also got my Patreon, my channel memberships. I'd like to thank all of them peeps, as I do every day, Jerry Jerry much right now. Uh, so thank you. Why are Jerry, Darth Lester, Charlie Owen, Repent the Square, Robert Waits, Camille Sarah, Chase, Blue Kraken, Roxanne Wolf, Sim, Jerry, Conrad, Inky, Captain Cloud, Jerry, Aaron, Jerry, Esteban, Farad, Lang, Sahan, Jerry Crusader, or Gaby Steve, Silent Robert, PCP, Fluxer, Soldier of Industry, welcome my friend, Jerry, the original Jerry, that's who that is, Tick Jerry, Destiny Piper, Jerry, Skatune, 211 Jerry, the two Jerrys, very tired Jerry, Justy Jargonian Jerry, and Frankenberry, that's a hiding bitch in it, <laughs> Aspen XO, Assassin Pug Jerry, Aurora Wildheart, Baby Jerry, Bailey Joy, Peter Jerry, Ben Ramirez, Bitch Gremlin, Blip Blue Jerry, I'd like to order all the Jerrys in the register, yes, this is a robbery, oh my god, put your hands up, Browns Cracking, Catholic Jerry, Commander Jay, Tank Confederate Jew, Dennis Dayton, Dr. Lux, Aaron Aaron, Eastmars, Frozen Over Studios, Fire Drake, Gypsy, Hadrian VR, I'm Slim Jerry, I'm the real Jerry, Inquisitor Jerry, Irish Pirate, Hoist the Colors, there be a tendy friggin' off the port, bow, <laughs> Iron Allo, Arabian Jam, a Pimpin' J. Crisp, J. M. Coon, Jerry Blacktail, Jerry Dow, Lama the Trucker, John Hero, John Jerry, Jingle Heimer Schmitz, Crow He, Cuddly Cracking, Legend Maker, Miss Monday, Lord Jerry O, Luke was a clever Patreon name, <laughs> he drove so goddamn fast, <laughs> like and subscribe, <laughs> Malady Nix, The Last Jerry Bender, Malaba Man, Melgar the Destroyer, Metal Fecta, Needless King 89, Nightmare Jerry, Paragon Soul, Fade of the Pines, Jerry Kins and Jerry Beth, Queens, Quailers, Quagmires, Rose Jerry Miller, Sorry to the Lolita, Sassy Octopus, Sa, Scarlet's Kevin, Sergeant Gay Cop, Bring up the Law, Silo Wimp, Stephanie Goodner, Sign Up to Boomstick, Brilliant Tomago, Tabio, the Blue, Taylor Fair, The Italian Greyhound Dino, The Little Sue, The One True Fusky, Train Boy, Try to find another mob and get back to the real world, um, you probably don't want to blow into that balloon knot, <laughs> Stinky Balloon, V3 Prime, Angel, Viking Jerry, Wikitech, Will Max, y'all remember that roller ring from a while ago? Turns out it was a Panda Express. I mean, it's now a Panda Express, or, or I'm a little confused by that. Zevin the Gargoyle, <laughs> Cobra Red Money, Kira, not another Jerry, but he is though. Red Wing, Nogviper, Saint Plus, and Third Stuff, Venom Jerry, Jace Christensen, Basic Bitch, Big Dead Wolf. <laughs> <laughs> One like Jerry the Neck Beard Hunter, a uh, normal Jerry, an uh, Admiral T Tank, Error Alder, another stupid hipster, Atomic Jerry Zilla, Bartender Kaylee, Blueberry and Apple Pie, Broken Spine Horse Radish, but Greedy Jerry, such a nice girl. Yes, nice. Cake Jerry, the original different Jerry, California Jerry Girl, Shepherd Seven Lock, Chicago Panda, Corey Does Art, uh, sometimes. Corporal Lambo, Princess Furry Warrior, Wolf Jerry, Cryptidies, Define Jerry, Deftune, Double Mean Dangerous, Dr. Cody Zawa, working on the Mountain Dew Destroyer to defeat Jerry Zilla. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Dwarfy Dude, eh, too tired to come up with anything. Just reread the name above me, Jerry. Dwarfy Dude, Jerry. <laughs> Ghost of Elba, he cannot. Janitor Jerry's roaming the streets of Finland, hunting down the Rudo headband. <laughs> Jeffrey, Jeffrey, Geralt of Rivia, Jerry Thomas is having New Year's way of the apocalypse. Jerry Springer, the results are in. You are not the neckbeard. Yay! Jerry the Sussy Baka, Jerry's mom has got it going on. Check out the mustache on Jerry Aldo Rivera. Jerry Roxers, Jerry Roleplay Game, Keaton Tails, Kid Mobbles, Kitskin, Lil Lane Woods, Lucia Lovecraft, M -M Machia, CD, maybe next time Milfed Gim, Miss Duchess, Not Invisible Angel, Raptor, she's my Jerry Pie. Sky Mara Ravenswood, Snary, that's Nom Jerry. Snowman, what is best in life? To crush your neckbeards, to put the feet to Jesus, to hear the lamentations of the body pillows. <laughs> Smoothie the Rogues, Spoopy Scary, Jerry Ton, Techno Dubs, the original Jerry, not to Infinite Jerry and
and beyond. We all in the way. Underwater movies. The throws a two-liter Mountain Dew. Grow my neck beard. Grow. It's Jerry time. Hold Red X Morpher. Hygiene. It's Jerry time. Hold Red X Morpher. Humility. <laughs> Good lord. And thank you to my one dollar patrons as well. Of course, we'd also like to thank our YouTube channel members. Uh, we got Skylar May, Amara. Oh, that sounds familiar. Gypsy Barber, Train Boy, Fire Drake, a Tiny Boy, Samantha, Desk Flagship, Bearded Snake. Buy two, get one hand. Definitely a couple of double dippers in there. Shouts out to all the Jerry's and not Jerry's alike. You, 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 you beautiful people, one and all. Whether you can support or not. If you don't want to, I mean, you can't afford it. That's cool, man. I just appreciate you coming on through, watching the videos. I hope you'll come on back and do the same thing again tomorrow. In order to do so, you need to keep yourself safe out there. Wash your hands, but also take some time out and do something that you personally enjoy today. Maybe, like, go uh, watching some more Red X videos, right? Or possibly unsubscribing to that OnlyFans girl that is making your life a living hell. The power's within your hands. Do it. <laughs> Always remember, friends, that you are loved. Truly. You are definitely worthy, and you 100% absolutely deserve it. I shall see you in the next one. And until then, friends, uh, bye-bye.